my name is Pascal. Today we are going to talk about which barbell you might want to use for the bench press. And the short answer is the bench press is probably the movement where it matters the least what kind of equipment you will be using to perform well. So don't overthink it, get going and get as much volume in as you can possibly can you know, um, and train because that is really what matters. It doesn't really matter that much what kind of metal you are moving. However, we will go into a bit more detail of what different options are available to you. If you want more detail, please check out the links in the description box below or the YouTube playlist on the equipment that I have here and also how I train. So the options available to you in terms of barbells for the bench press are just a straight barbell that you will find in almost any commercial gym. Then there are multi-grip barbells which you will find mostly in powerlifting gyms or in strong strongman gyms. And then there are some specialty bars like the Duffalo bar, the Cadillac bar that you can use or the bamboo earthquake barbells that you can also use for the bench press. But for most people just use a regular bench and a regular barbell and get going rather than overthinking it and not getting the work done. So a standard barbell which is to the standards of the Olympic weightlifting barbells that is more than enough for the bench press and you will find it in most commercial gyms. Now as we are on the topic, a few tips around what to do with that barbell to train for bodybuilding purposes or powerlifting purposes, whatever it may be. So the closer your grip is to um, bench press, then the more it will work your tricep and the less it will work your chest. The wider the grip the you choose, the more you will train your chest and the less you will train your triceps. So that is something to keep in mind for bench pressing. Also, if you want to focus a lot more on your chest and your tricep, then you can also eliminate the leg drive by using something like a feet up bench press or the Larsen bench press. So those are all varieties to think about in your training and how you put it together to target different areas of your body. If you are training for powerlifting purposes, keep in mind that you will have to do a two second pause on the chest for bench pressing and to have the rep counted. Most people don't train like that and might even bounce the barbell off the chest. So if you ever wanted to go into a powerlifting meet, then try to get into the habit of pausing on the chest. Next category of barbells to talk about are multi-grip barbells. So these are the ones that you can find that you can't use for a squat or for a deadlift, but that are specialized on having multiple different grip variations through your training for the bench press. Now, do you really need those? Well, it depends, you know, like if you are training with the west side method a lot, then yes, because in west side you are varying your exercises as much as you possibly can so there a multi-grip barbell comes in handy for strongman training that is also a good idea to have a bench uh, press barbell that has multi-grip because you never know for these kind of pressing exercises what you will be facing in competition what kind of piece of equipment they will give you to lift overhead or to bench press or whatever kind of um, you know, exercise they come up with to test you on. And for everybody else, you know, these barbells are nice to have, but not really a must have. Um, if you have a shoulder injury, that might also be helpful because you have a bit less torque on the shoulder um, to train. But, you know, all in all, train on a barbell because, straight barbell, because these are widely available and will help you to pump up and get stronger. Last thing to talk about are speciality barbells. So these are usually more in the powerlifting realm. Examples would be the Duffalo bar or the Cadillac bar or the Elephant bar from Elite FTS. So that is all more extreme stuff. So what I mean by that is the Duffalo bar is definitely for 
powerlifters who are very dedicated but also have already beaten up their body to an extent that they just need to vary a bit more because when they are straight barbell bench pressing all the time they will just worsen the injuries that are already there anyway same goes for the Cadillac barbell it's the same idea of course you then can also with the different angles attack your chest and all of the muscles from different angles which you definitely should do if you are a competitive power lifter but most of us aren't so then why bother having some piece of equipment sitting around in your gym that only eats up space and costs maybe five to six hundred bucks focus on the barber that you already have and just get more work in that is at least my personal opinion on it and the last kind of barbells to talk about would be these bamboo bars and earthquake bars so that is all playing with the idea of instability while you're bench pressing again for rehabbing purposes for very strong people i think that is a good idea and i want to play around a lot but for the most common folks like you and me it's also extra equipment that you might not get a lot of use out of especially if there's only one person using the gym that you have your home gym or garage gym the more people are using the gym the more it makes sense to also branch out into some kind of speciality stuff but you know not really necessary for your home gym or garage gym thanks for watching please like subscribe and tell your friends about my channel and if you have any questions pop them in the comments section below have a nice day and i hope to see you soon bye bye